<laughs> Hello there, gang. Devere here with Root of Evil, the tailor. So what is it? Let's dive in and see, shall we? Let's start a new game. Click here to open the letter. Will do, Chief. Will do. And let's click to read. By read, of course, I mean skip. Jolly good. Apparently we're some sort of psychic investigator off to a, an abandoned haunted house. If this little blurb is correct, and there really was only one person doing this game, it's quite impressive, as we shall see shortly. So as you've seen, you don't get a lot of options. Tap to see new note. Now is 5 p.m. I standing in house. Where was written letter of customer? <laughs> yeah, I'm guessing English isn't the first language here. Now this place occurred a suicide case. I will try to find out why they killed themselves and spooky things going on in this house. First of all, I'll try to go to the other rooms in house. So it's certainly not bad looking for a. It's not a. Not absolutely outstanding, but it's not bad either. A couple of first issues, weird sort of mouse lag going on. There's some sort of mouse acceleration. Again, it's not an FPS shooter, so it's not a game breaker. What sort of way your character walks? It's like the Stay Puff Marshmallow Man. <laughs> Very weird. Boing, boing. So it's a sort of. It's a puzzle game, really, more than... It's... I wouldn't say it's outright horror. It's telling a spooky story. 1890. So what could that be? It can be a little bit obtuse in places. Yeah, it's one of these games you have to wait and... things to happen sometimes and... But yes, it's, it's pretty decent so far. It would be nice if we could click these backwards instead of just one direction. So we have to click through each and every one. Success! And there's another little issue. Sometimes the hot boxes can be a bit. This glass it is bricked. Yeah, it can be little hot boxes can sometimes be oh and there's where were the things? There's some things to find. Uh, ah yes. I'm not sure how important these are to complete in the game or not though, it's uh, hidden symbols. You have to sort of focus on them and should have some more. Ah Yes, it's, I say, it's sort of telling a story. It's uh, various cutscenes. Uh, fair to middling. And there's a few jump scares. Or an attempt at jump scares. So it's not an outright horror. It's not an amnesia or an outlast. Not at all. Hey, buddy boy, if I could let you out, I would. Yeah, there's a... Sometimes try to say getting them hot boxes to activate. Yep. Can be a bit... Uh, a bit painful. I say, it's not... Not the worst looking game, I say, if it's one man's work. It's uh, not too bad at all. Uh, we'll start from this piece. Let's uh, sit down there. Uh, this is a bit stodgy sometimes as well. Come on. It's clearly there, you can see it fits. Just find another bit. There we 
Okay. Come on, that's it. Yes, yeah, a little bit buggy at times. Let's try to get things to fit into the right part. So you can come down here. In you go. Go on. And you go up there. You go in there. Come on, fit in the thing. Yeah, so it's this, this bit's a little bit finickety. Oh. A little bit too finickety, perhaps. It can sometimes be a bit, bit pixel hunty in places. So it took me ages to find that. The first time around I played it, it took me absolutely ages to find that. I was stuck here, there's another puzzle over there, and I thought it was something to do with that, and I was trying to work it out, just because I'd missed a little, because that just looked like rubbish on the floor, like like this stuff over here. So these, these puzzles never make any sense, do they? Why, why couldn't I just push it down till it was balanced? But anyway, I digress. Uh, God, I'm sure there were some things to stare at somewhere. So yeah, it's very much a puzzle-driven game. So unfortunately, sometimes there's a case where you've got to wait around for things to happen, cut scenes and such like. But the cut scenes are pretty well done. They've got some... For the price of this game, they've got some quite imaginative cinematography going on. We might get to see one. This short list. I don't want to give too many spoilers. It's not a very long game. In all fairness. That's, but you know, I mean, again, for a one-man show, I mean, we don't have any duck or sprint or jumps or anything like that. Just this sort of, sort of dull plod. Ah, I don't know what it is about a picture of a lady stroking her pussy that I find so inspirational. But uh, yeah, yeah, there's a lot of things to investigate. This kind of plodding bum -ba -do 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 -dum -da -dum speed we're walking around at. Could do being a bit chipper, I think. Aha, uh -huh. another puzzle perhaps. They're not, they're not absolutely brain breakers, I'll give it that in fairness. Let's try and move where to go. As I say, it is a bit guided in places. Aha. Uh -huh. Yes, yeah, another one of these little things. As you say, we're supposed to be some sort of... Now there's something, we're supposed to be a psychic investigator. So that technically there shouldn't be any puzzles. Because can't we just use our psychic powers to think them through? And let's have a look at this. cinematography going on and we have a new note and I appreciate that English isn't their first language but a female tailor is actually a seamstress so yeah I mean uh, we've kind of seen everything here without giving too many spoilers it does try to do a lot for such a fairly cheap game in a one man show. 
so it doesn't tip through to your turn. <laughs> yeah. The old attempt at jump scares. Yeah, I don't like cats either. I don't blame the bloke for freaking out when he sees it. Horrible little things come in, crap in your garden and try and eat your, f your fish in your pond. No, don't plead for me for sympathy. I'm on the side of the bird here. He's my chum. So, yes... This was the tailor, or technically the seamstress, Root of Evil. It's not very long, but it's, it covers a fair amount for what it is. I say it's more puzzles. They're not hard puzzles. I say could perhaps do be a little bit more up paced in places, maybe. But I think we'll conclude our dealings here, gang. As I said, I don't want to give too many spoilers. It's fairly decent story driven, voice acting's okay. Graphics ain't bad, if not you know not gonna win any awards, clearly. There's no far cry or anything like that. But uh, Yeah, all in all, it's it's more of a paced thoughtful horror. So it does the old attempt at jump scares here and there. Nothing too outstanding though. Ah. so anyway gang thank you for watching hope you found the video useful or interesting in some way as ever don't forget to like comment subscribe let me know your life and i shall see you all next time bye now